Hi everybody, I hope everybody's having a good day. This is Cherie, and welcome to my channel. I hope that uh, you enjoy this video. Uh, I'm going to go over a few things first, and then we're going to get into a little devotional. Um, I know some of you all are also on my Facebook group page. And that's my dog Gizmo in the background. He's playing with one of his toys. He rolls on his back all over his bone, makes gurgling like <laughs> noises. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just wanted you all to know, um, you know, some people have put comments on here that are not nice. I don't tolerate not nice. So if you uh, don't like something I've done or said on my other page, on my Facebook group page, you know, that's your, you know, prerogative to not agree with everything I do. But um, it's my prerogative to delete you or your comment, and I won't tolerate people being rude and mean without knowing why things are done the way they are. And even so, being rude and mean is very anti-Christian-like. So, uh, if you bring that over to my YouTube channel and you do the same thing here, I want you to know it's not going to be tolerated. I don't put up with that crap. I do not do drama. I don't like it. I don't do it. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. And, you know, I'm not for everybody. And I've said that from the beginning. You're not for everybody. You know, some people like people and some people, you know, they're not their cup of tea. That's fine. I'm not making you watch this channel. If you don't like anything I've said or done anywhere I'm on here, well, bye-bye now. You know, you don't have to be on here. I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm not going to make you watch a channel you don't like. Nobody's going to make you do anything. So, I wanted you to know that if you get on here and you put on nasty comments and you talk about uh, the Bible says we're not supposed to do this, that, and the other, and what do you think about that, Sheree? And then in the next post, call me a witch and all kinds of different things, which actually uh, just contradicts everything you've tried to accuse me of being. So <laughs> that was kind of not good. <laughs> so, you know, you might as well forget it because your comments going to get deleted. You're going to get blocked, period. I'm not putting up with that crap, okay? I'm just not. I don't have to. I'm not going to. Nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to hear it. You know, if I've hurt your feelings or something, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it intentionally. Um, you know, that's a two-way street. You have to communicate back. You know, if you put posts on, you need to keep people updated because people are praying for you and etc. And they really are worried about you. They would like to know you're okay. So if you put just the bad things on there and then never put nothing else, that's not good either, okay? So, um, anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. That if you're going to be mean on here, it's not going to be tolerated. And you will be deleted. Your comment will be deleted. I'm not doing drama. I'm just not. You know, it's not a he said, she said. If you're looking for somebody that's supposed to be perfect, you're not going to find a perfect person. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. Uh, if you think I do things that makes me not a Christian or, you know, wonder if I'm being sincere about all this, well, you know, that's your problem, basically. I don't care, okay? Um, the, the thing that I have to worry about is between me and God. I'm not perfect. I'll tell you all that from the beginning. I might do or say something that you all think, oh, well, a Christian would never say that or would be rude or anything. Well, you know what? I have feelings. I have an attitude. I have an opinion. Uh, those things are all instilled in me. Maybe I don't handle them all correctly all the time, but hey, I'm not perfect, okay? And that's between me and God, not between me and you or you and me or you and God about me. It's about me and God, just like it's about you and God. Okay, so just putting that out there, not tolerating it on here, on my Facebook group page, nowhere. You know, there's a lot of other channels and a lot of other pages out there that you may be a better fit for. Maybe you don't fit in, you know, at these channels or these pages. I don't know. But, you know, if you're going to come on here with an attitude, um, it's not going to be tolerated. I'm not going to put up with it. Okay, um, so that's all that I wanted to say about that. Okay, I love my subscribers. I look out for everybody. Um, I try to make sure it's a pleasant environment for everybody. So you start, start to talk and smack on here. Well, huh, it's going away, okay? It's not going to stay on here. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to hear it. You know, that's it, period. Um, uh, people have reported things to me that's on that page, and I have to follow through with that. I do what I think's right. I investigate. I try to communicate, but da 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 and if I get a bad feeling about it or whatever, you may get deleted. I know if you're sincere, 
you can rejoin. But you don't rejoin and talk bad about me or anybody else on there. That's not going to be tolerated. That's not Christian-like. So don't point the finger at me. You might want to point it back at yourself, okay? Because none of us are perfect. I don't hold you accountable. You don't hold me accountable. We hold each other accountable to God between ourselves and God. And that goes for everybody. You know, none of us are perfect. You know, we're human beings. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. Get that off my chest. Now I'm moving on. So I wanted to do a little um, devotion today. And I'm doing it in the uh, Woman After God's Own Heart Bible. Okay. And uh, the first one I'm going to do is, let's see. I think I showed you all this bookmark before one of my subscribers sent me in it pretty. Um, it's called The Peace of God. Uh, if you have this Bible, I'm on page 821 if you want to follow through here with me. Um, this comes from Psalm 107, verse 1. And it says, um, the devotion says, When life is good, it's easy for praise and thanksgiving to flow from our lips. But when life gets tough, that's an entirely different story. Yet the Bible says, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That's in Philippians 4, 6, and 7. In every situation, yes, think of it this way. When you'd rather stay stuck in your depression, but you choose instead to talk with God about your situation and praise Him for His goodness, then God will bring you His peace, a peace the world simply cannot understand. So often it is out of the darkness of our trials that we find the peace of God magnified in our lives. Think of a beautiful diamond displayed against a black background. The dark makes the stone shine all the more. What a brilliant picture of what Christ has done for us. Friend, in every moment, open your heart to these words of encouragement. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. And I thought that was a really good devotion. So I picked that one out. I just randomly went through here picking them out. Um, I've got another one here. Uh, this one is on page 1046 if you've got this Bible if not that's okay and you can get your own Bible out if you want to read in your own Bible that's fine too this is a New King James Version by the way that uh, I'm reading out of um, on page 1046 uh, it says in Jeremiah 31 34 you are not alone in your struggle to live a godly life Everyone's life is stained with sin, but be assured that God loves you, He cares for you, and you can count on and enjoy the promise and reality of His forgiveness. Forgiveness, just the sound of the word, brings joy to the heart. In Jeremiah thirty-one thirty-four, <coughs> excuse me, God says, I will forgive their iniquity. In fact, the verse goes on to say that God will remember our sin no more. Claim that promise today. Don't brood over past situations and what has happened. Once you have talked it through with God and confessed any sins, you can move forward and make spiritual progress. Acknowledge your sin before God. Receive His forgiveness and then serve Him and love Him wholeheartedly with renewed joy. And that's, that's really great. You know, if we mess up or something, we, we can ask Jesus for forgiveness. Sincerely ask for forgiveness. Because we're all not perfect, okay? And we all get swept up in things that, um, you know, we don't need to be taken apart of. So, uh, just remember that, you know. Uh, I have empathy for people that go through things. Um, you know, I would never, ever not have empathy for someone who has went through some kind of a traumatic experience. Um, you know, it's horrible. I pray and pray for people. I prayed for one person in particular over the past week or so. And um, a lot of us did. Uh, they had went through a traumatic experience. 
and uh, I'm so glad that they uh, are seeking the help that they need and that they are moving on. Uh, the next one I uh, wanted to go over. Did I lose it? I thought I had it marked here. Hang on just a second. And I'm going to take my bookmark out. Okay, here's one. Um, it's on page, <laughs> the pages are just on one side of this here, uh, 1072 would be the page. It's called A Heart of Compassion. And in Jeremiah 49 through 50, uh, Jeremiah was told by God to deliver messages of judgment. This assignment was painful enough, but Jeremiah had to observe the suffering of his nation because of the people's lack of obedience to God's message of judgment. Jeremiah was heartbroken as he witnessed their rejection of God and their resulting suffering. How often is your heart broken over your family members, friends, and neighbors who refuse to follow and obey God? Pray for God to open their hearts and look for opportunities to share the hope of salvation through Christ. And we need to share uh, God's love and the hope of salvation with other people. Um, we... Uh, we never know what we're going to have to go through, you know, in this world. And um, we all need to have compassion for each other and treat each other with kindness, you know. And it's easy to reciprocate negative feelings back and forth, back and forth. But, you know, it just needs to be nipped in the bud and stopped, removed, whatever, and just stop. So um, I thought that went pretty good with this also. But I love this Bible. It has so many good devotionals in it. And so does a lot of the Bibles. A lot of the women's Bibles really, really, really do have a lot um, of devotionals in here that are very good. Let's see here. Hmm, this is kind of interesting. Um, this one is on page... 1124 and this one says four life-changing questions I have four questions that may help you grasp a better understanding of God's purpose for your life who am I where did I come from why am I here and where am I going as you answer these questions don't answer them based on what others think or need or want from you what do you think God has a specific purpose for you, and your answers to these questions can be life-changing. Ephesians 1, 4 through 6 says, God chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will, to the praise of the glory of His grace, by which he made us accepted into the beloved. Let a clear understanding of your salvation and identity in Christ shed light on all the ways you can live out his purpose. And we all have a purpose in life, you know. Um, yours might be uh, giving. Yours might be um, music. Um hospitality, a service, uh, all different kinds of things. Um, you know, you might give rides to people that need rides to the hospital or take them food uh, to the shut-ins and stuff like that. Um, everyone has different gifts that they like to, you know, that they have that they need to use because that's why God gave us those gifts. They don't have to be anything extravagant. You know, even if it's just calling somebody every now and then and checking in on them and talking to them and stuff, that's great. Um, you know, just spend time with your friends, your family, and enjoy your life. Um, today, I went to, with one of my friends, or I didn't go with her, I met her. Her father had surgery at the hospital today, and I went and sat with her and her mom because I've grown up with her since fourth grade, and we're really good friends and uh, I had a nice time. It was nice sitting there with them. We were there a while, but it really went by fast. I, I didn't even really think about it. I thought it was a nice day. Um, 
But anyway, we, uh, I have no sense of direction at all. <laughs> I have not much sense of direction. And so when I got there, um, she said, uh, she sent me a message and said, um, well, we're on the fourth floor. And I thought, oh, no, because I was going to go in the main floor. That's where they were meeting at. I didn't know they were going to be put somewhere else in the hospital. Oh, and it's a pretty good-sized hospital. So uh, I sent her a message, and I said, okay, I just got here. And I was parking the car, and and she said, um, where are you? And I'll come get you because she knows I ha can't get my way around nowhere. And uh, I said, no, you stay with your mom and dad. I'll find you, you know. And I went in and asked for directions, and they sent me, pointed me the way I was supposed to go, and it was actually, God blessed me with an easy way of finding everything today. I didn't have a lick of trouble finding where I was going and back out to my car and stuff. But we, we went and got lunch in the hospital. There's some Wendy's. So we went down to Wendy's and got lunch. So we went down there, and we were getting it to take back to the waiting area. And... Uh, all through the hospital, there's signs that point, you know, to Wendy's, you know, this way, down this way, over this way, you know, it gets you to Wendy's all through the hospital. And I thought, well, th this ain't too bad. Well, I didn't think about having to get back, you know, I wasn't thinking about that, but she was with me and she knows everything, so <laughs> I wasn't really that worried. Oh, gosh. So anyway, we went in there and ordered, well, you have to give your name when you order your food like that. Well, Everybody struggles with my name. I have to spell it out. They always call me something else, or they don't know how to say it, or, you know, because it's not a real common name. It's not their fault. Um, so anymore, I just give a fake name, and they'll say, what name do you want on your order? Well, I said Ann, because I thought A-N-N, -N, how hard is it, you know? So I went over to my friend, and I said, uh, I said, well, if you hear them, if you hear them call out Ann, hey, what are you doing? I said, what are you looking at? I don't think anything's under the coffee table, sweet pea. I don't know what you're looking at. What do you see? Shadows? <laughs> but anyway, I said I went over to her and I said, if you hear somebody call out the name Ann, that's me. And she said, huh? And I said, I'm Ann. And she looked at me, she goes, you're Ann? I thought she thought lost my mind. I said, no, I gave them a name that's not mine. I said, I told them my, my name was Ann. So when they call out the order for Ann, don't let me forget, that's me. And she started laughing. I have done that before at Penn Station or somewhere, and it's been a while for my order kick. And I forgot what name I gave them. I did that one time, and they were calling out whatever name I said, and I was like, hmm. Uh, So-and-so, and then they looked at me, and they said, Sonia, or whatever it was. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyway, when we got out of there, I said, I hope you know where we're going, because I have no idea how to get back to the room we were coming from. I said, there were signs that said Wendy's coming down here. There ain't no sign pointing back to waiting room six or whatever, you know. So she got tickled. But when I went back to my car, I sent her a picture of me. And I said, that was the easiest I've ever found anything. It was just such an easy route for me to take to get back across the road to my car and everything. So I sent her a thumbs up picture that I made it alive to my car and I get, didn't get lost. <laughs> so anyway, it's crazy. But her dad did real good, and Jesus blessed him big time there because they did all kinds of things to him where he was having troubles, and uh, everything really went well, and we were so glad. So, anyway, that's what I did today. And um, Anyway, um, Mr. Giz is down here eating on the bone that he likes to eat on all the time. Um, he'd been acting funny yesterday. I was up with him most of the night because he kept acting like, like he wanted to throw up. I don't know if he had something stuck in his throat or what, and I was on guard, you know, all night with him practically, and but he never did, so, and he's acting okay now, so I guess whatever it was, it's worked its way loose or something, I don't know, but uh, he's a doll baby, I love my gizmo, but anyway, I just want to go over that with you all and um, do a few devotions, and um, I hope that if you like this video, you subscribe. And hit the little notification bell, and you'll get notified when new videos come up. And I'm going to try to do these more often than I've been doing them. I've slacked off a little bit. Um, sometimes it's hard to get the time to do them. Um, but I'm going to try to do better. Now that fall's getting here, I've just got a couple more things to do here at the house. Projects. And then I think I'll be pretty much done. So, anyway, thank you for joining me. And I hope you all have a great evening. And the weekend's coming uh, if you're watching this tonight. So um, I hope you have a great, safe weekend. And um, 
Just hugs to everybody, and I hope to see you back here next time. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.